to draw the vertical alignment, we need to go to Road and draw longitudinal profile. And we need to draw it from the road model, or sorry, from the terrain model, because this is where we have our uh, alignment and our calculated vertical alignment. But before we do, we need to settle on the scale, and in your case, you need to do the vertical alignment according to your overview plan. So we go and change the scale into 1 to 5000 and be sure that the exact duration is 10, always 10. Then road, draw longitudinal profile from terrain model. We have to select our road and all these values should just be uh, set as default. We press next and we now get a preview of our vertical alignment drawing. Um, you can see that the frame is almost too small and we would like the frame to be somewhat further down so that our alignment would be in the middle approximately or at least inside the frame. We have two different ways of doing this. We can extend the frame height or we can change the datum level. The datum level is the level in this specific corner and if we want the frame to move down we need to minimize this one so let's try and make it 30. We can see that the frame moved down. When we are happy we go to additional drawing objects and make sure that we get uh, the information that we need. So main alignment and main alignment info is what we need for the moment. You could also maybe want to see the terrain on either side of the road, then you need to click on these two. But we have our alignment and our alignment info and that's what we need. Now to point out where to put our alignment drawing and be sure not to put it on top of the map put it next to and then just draw and you have a perfectly good drawing of your vertical alignment ready to plot